Hello everyone, this is the Final Hammer here, and today we are going to be doing another viewer requested review. Let's check it out. So today I'm going to be talking about a Dance Gavin Dance album called Afterburner. It is their ninth release, and it was released on April 24th under Rise Records. It was requested by Techno Kitten. He is a regular on the channel. He usually comments something funny. He's taking place in some of the streams. So when he commented it, I figured I would give it a shot and I would give it a listen. So I did just that. I listened to the entire album and I put 100% focus into it. And by that I mean I sat there and listened to every single song and read the lyrics to it. Which may not have been a good idea. And I'll explain why. Part of that is because there's two singers in this band, or one singer and one screamer. The singer's name is Tillian and I believe the uh, screamer's John Mess. He's a bassist too, or something like that. But um, the reason I say listen or reading the lyrics while I listen to it may have hindered it is because Tillian's scream is or singing is absolutely fantastic. It is fantastic. It sounds beautiful over some of the instrumentations. The way it's it's almost like a funky rock, if that makes any sense. It's it, the way it's done is really nice, and I like it. And then there's John Mess. Which, I'm sure people will probably hate me for saying this, but I almost would rather hear just Tillian sing. I know that John Mess is a part of the formula, the way the, the, way the band works is with Tillian singing and John Mess screaming afterwards. But I couldn't get past the some of the lyrics. Like, they say the N-word, like, genuinely in one of the songs. It sounded like, like the verse, I, I understand that it was a... Um, because Bill Murray, the rapper guy, whatever, said it, but it just felt so out of place, and it took me out of it a lot of the time. Most of the weird lyrics often would. It, it felt like it took me from the experience of this weird psychedelic trip of hearing Tillian beautifully sing, but that's kind of what they are, though. They always had these just really weird, screamy lyrics mixed in there with fantastic singing from Tillian. But this is a band I don't listen to. This is a band that I don't really like all that much. Oh, there's a cop car going by. Wow, he's zooming. Anyway, so it's not that I don't like it per se, but it's not my cup of tea. I don't like how it can completely take me out of an intense moment in a song. Especially since I read the lyrics the first time and I know exactly what they say. Like, there's a part in it where it's, like, it's written on my mitten, go, go, night, night. It's, like, just these really weird things that I just, I, I don't really like. And that's, and that isn't a huge hindrance on the music, honestly, because it sounds similar to I Prevail and Issues in that way. The singing and, like, the way they play does a lot. And that's pretty cool. I like it. I don't like I Prevail or Issues all that much, and I don't really like Dance, Gavin, Dance all that much. But I'm willing to res I'm willing to pay respects to some of the things they're able to pull off. The singing is really good. It's really well done. I like most of the lyrics as well. I say most of because, like I said, there's some that just feel like they take me from the song. I'd say the stickouts in this album are definitely "Prisoner" and "Lyrics Lie." Those are just so good, and um, Three Wishes" is also really good. Honestly, "Lyrics Lie" it's one of the ones with a um the really weird lyrics part. It's like when you liked her but you found out she was gay and wanted your sister or something like that and like just this really solid song and, and that just comes up right after that like i said it just i just didn't like that that much it took me right from the experience but that's not a super big deal it's really not it's it's not very much that he's in it so that's a good thing i think and like i said this is entirely my opinion i found it weird that the screaming was my least favorite part of the song. I really did. I thought that I would be looking forward to that the most, because I've heard of Dance Gavin Dance. I, I'm aware of their existence, and, you know, I know that they're pretty successful. Um, They're popular in, like, the funk rock area or whatever, just rock. But um, it's... It was just weird. It was overall just so weird. And it was one of those listening experiences I'm glad I had, and I'm glad I was able to find more to listen to. It was definitely a step out of the typical metal genre that I listen to. Because, I mean, I even listen to a lot of synth pop, but I've, I'm not super into just these odd rock genres almost, you know what I mean? 
So over and above all, I'd say I probably give this album. This is a tough one. I got to give it a seven out of 10 because everything about it was solid. I did not like the Spanish song that much, but you know, that's not really a big deal or the last song. Um, I forget what it's called. I really do. But, uh, there wasn't very many stick out songs to me in this album. There was, I think, three or four that I can remember off the top of my head without looking at a script or anything like that. So it's, I gotta give it a 7 out of 10, and I think that's me being a little generous because I did give it a couple of good listens, and I felt bad, but like I said, Tillian's singing cannot be understated. It is fantastic. The band's instrumentation is fantastic. It almost feels like it's psychedelic in a way. It does a very good job at what it's trying to do, I think. And like I said, even though I don't like John Mess's weird screaming, that's part of the band. That's part of what they are and what makes them who they are. So don't let that opinion of mine falter the entire album because overall it was a solid album. And I will admit that despite the fact that I am one of those metal guys, it was a good album. It was very good. And like I said, 7 out of 10 might be a little generous because I feel like it's more of a 6. But I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 anyway. So that was The Final Hammer. If you guys liked this album, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite song was. And if you guys would like me to review another album, comment that down below as well. And I will give it a shot depending on how many they are and which one I think I would prefer. Thank you very much for watching, guys.